So what we did so far is we created this one. We created a um, couple of library items, right? So we have enemy, which has got three different enemies inside. Okay. And we have a bullet and we have a gun, right? So one more thing that we missed out last time was creating uh, the explosion as well. Okay. So we'll create that also, okay, which is like just a few frames. So let me just take a simple drawing first and then I will convert it to a symbol and make the other stuff. So let's say I'm gonna take my brush tool here. I can take a new layer just to keep things safe. I can also lock the other ones. Okay, so um, I'm just going to draw something like that. This is going to be in red color. Okay, so that should be the starting point. We want to make it start very small. Now you can also have other colors. For example, you can change the color to something like yellow. Okay, and draw something like that. Okay, so um, that's going to be the beginning. Maybe you can just have a little bit of yellowish color coming out as well. Okay, so this one I'm going to select, convert to symbol, and this symbol is going to be movie clip, and we need to export this. So let's give a name M C E X P L O S I O N explosion, and we have to give the same name here hit OK so that opens up or that creates the MC explosion file so now if I just zoom out I can actually see that the size is actually small so we can actually expand it from here and I'm gonna go inside this now we need to create the other keyframes okay so I'll press F6 sorry F6 here and this is the second keyframe, and so I can draw this a little bit bigger this time. And I'm actually going to have the yellowish color outside. So something random like so. And the inside is going to be red. Okay. Now I'm going to press F6 one more time. Okay, so the next, that's the next keyframe. So here, uh, again, I'll draw this yellow first. That's going to make it bigger. So I can have one long streak here. One long streak here. Okay, and then I can have a fill color inside. So we can have the same pattern. Okay, so let's say if I just play this back, you can see that, yeah, that looks like an explosion. Okay, so after this, probably. Um, the next keyframe that I'm going to create is going to be um, maybe just the um, ending of the explosion. So I can basically end it with some shapes just outside, like smokes coming out or something like that. So that's going to be more of a darker reddish color. So make it something like this. And for the previous one, this one, I don't need this, so I can just delete it and I can turn on the uh, onion skin so I know where the explosion actually ended so I can just basically make something like fill shape here one two then three four here maybe a bigger one here smaller one here be a bigger one here something like that so what happens is like yeah it comes out just goes like that and then I can press another key
keyframe. So this is going to be F7, so blank keyframe. So I'm going to create an outline of the same thing. Okay, so that's going to be our next keyframe. So it's just, it could be a bit outside as well. Okay, something like that. Something like that. So this inside is hollow. Okay, so the next keyframe is going to be just a um, few dots, just ending off the animation. Fn and F7. Okay, so this is going to be just some dots. Okay, so this can even be in a different color, slightly yellowish color, something like that. No, not greenish. Um, yellowish, orangish, like that. Okay, so this is just going to be like dots. Okay. Okay. So if I turn this off and I just play this back, you see? So at the end, I don't want to end here, so I can actually do a blank keyframe so that it just ends with nothing. Okay. So that's an explosion. So if I just zoom out, and play that back, you'll see that it feels more like an explosion. So um, now let's just come out of that. And this explosion doesn't have to be here in our timeline, so I can actually delete it. Um, it's going to sit in the um, actions in the library so that we can access it through this linkage name that we have created. Okay, so um, one last thing that we need to create is the uh, end screen. Okay, so the end screen is basically going to have a button inside. So let's just go ahead and create that end screen. So I'll use my rectangle tool and I want to have more of a rounded rectangle here. So let me go to properties. So now we created that. Let's uh, make the end screen, right? So let me just click and drag something like that okay so you can make this roundness more or less up to you based on the value that we gave here in the properties okay so um, this I'm going to convert it into another symbol so let's go to convert a symbol and this is going to be named as MC end screen okay so this is also going to be exported to action script this is going to be called as M sorry MC E N D S C R E E N movie clip end screen. Let's choose export for action script. So that's going to be happening like that. Click OK. Go inside this movie clip now. So inside the movie clip, we're going to create text. So this is going to be saying game over. Say game over. And I can make it longer here. Oi. And this does not have to be a dynamic text. Let's make it static. Okay. So let's make the text size bigger. Not too big. And maybe we can change the font. Okay, something like that. And make sure that the color is something that is opposite of the background color that we have. Okay, so that's the text, which is a static text. It's not going to interact or do anything. Um, let me find a better font. This font is. Yes, that looks more like a game over. Okay, so next we need to create one more text, which is going to be a play again button. And that button is actually going to be a movie clip symbol, not a button symbol this time. Okay, so this is going to be play again 
we need to make it smaller it can be a static no problem static text okay so convert this into a symbol okay this is going to be movie clip M C P L A Y A G A I N hit OK and this will have an instance name for sure we'll give instance name MC play A G A I N once that is done notice this symbol is actually inside another symbol okay so there's a nested symbol here so MC end screen and inside that we have MC play again okay so we come back all the way here so for this game over we need to have an instance name it is going to be called as menu and M small letter and E capital letter okay so this is going to remain here because we have an instance name and this will actually disappear when we start to play okay so once this is done now we need to have the action script so these are all external action scripts so action script for the bullet action script for the end screen action script for the MC enemy action script for the explosion these are all external files which should be pasted in the same folder as your shooting game okay so this is this is our file here this file shooting game.fla and in the same folder you need to have all these other action script as well if it is not there they won't work okay plus I need to copy all this action script this is shooting game code so I'm going to copy this entire code okay control a control C close that and this is end game okay so I'll take a new layer this is going to be called as actions we actions and here I will have to paste this entire code okay so it's basically a function shooting game and we're just running the function at the end and there's a lot of other functions inside that so if you want to learn everything just read one by one and find out what each of them do okay so we're going to press control enter here that's gonna run and there you go so our enemies three different types of enemies they are coming in random they're just playing there uh, if I press space bar this is supposed to fire let's see what happens boom yes it fired one bullet okay the text is not showing up which we will fix later and if I use my right arrow key the gun or the tank moves to the left and uh, if I use the right it moves to the right if I use the left it moves to the left okay so why do I not hit a so when I hit them I also see the explosion ta -da, ta -da. A. okay so uh, just like as the other game did we will be able to oh, play only 20 bullets if you want to increase that number from 20 to more um, we can we have to do that from the action script okay so there it is so it says game over and when I say play again oops something went wrong why my button is not working okay let's check it out go inside here select the MC play again select this guy uh, it's a static text but it's selectable so I think I should turn this off selectable turn this off that should work uh, now I'm using uh, the new version of uh, Adobe Flash which is called animate so if you have the older version then you need to uh, find this from a different place okay so everything that I'm showing you is available but they might be available in different locations with different names as well sometimes so now let me just press control enter once again okay so it opens up and okay so it fires the bullet okay okay so now let me just go in here and I can click to play again Yes. 
but if you look at the place where the bullet is coming it's not coming from the center it's supposed to actually come from here right so it's coming actually from the center that's because when we created this symbol um, there's an option when we convert any object or when you when we create a new symbol uh, we have an option in terms of the registration point let me just unblock these so when i go to convert a symbol for example there is an option called registration point you see here so which is being selected as center right so in the original example it was selected from the left corner okay so that's why the action script was written in a way to uh, create the bullet from the center based on this top left registration point okay so now we have the registration point in the center so that's why the bullet is actually getting generated from here okay so what I can do now is I can either remove this uh, symbol and then create again with the registration point in the top left or we can go inside and move this object slightly to the right and slightly to the bottom okay so I think that looks fine if it is not then we will make more changes later so I'll go back and then I'll push this back into its position so let's uh, let's try it out now control enter okay so press space bar. you see now it comes it didn't come from here it comes from here that's still not perfect so I think I need to move it slightly to the right side okay so let's go back in um, I think I need to move it just one point two points I guess and let's try that now control s to save the file control enter to uh, open it up and click inside yes I think that's perfect okay now if you don't want it to come from inside this you want to come maybe from the top up here uh, from here then again you need to do the same change okay so you need to move this object a little bit down uh, let's say if I go inside I can just move this down 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 something like that okay I hope this fixes it completely if I press control enter and just like yes that's perfect so the text that is not showing here generally it fixes with the help of font because sometimes if the font is wrong or maybe the color is different it doesn't work so select the text and make this as use default device fonts so that I hope that should fix this as well yes okay so let me just file go to file save that press control enter so there it is score is there ammo is there and let me just click here so that I can fire bullets and da, da, da. okay so every time I hit an alien I get a score and every time I fire I lose an ammo Ta -da. okay so that way I'm actually wasting a lot of bullets but yeah that's it so 10 out of 20